have the piano music. Don't you guys? What did I want to do? I just took my glasses. I had to get out of here. There was a time where I had to get out of here. I rushed out of the study. Gasp. Gasp. I didn't think I'd forgotten anything. I had to get out of there. Uh oh. Ring ring. Ah! Oh, oh, it was nothing. Just the phone. J -j just the phone. Calm down. Calm down. It was just the office door. Nan's machine had come on. Hello? It's me, Kingsley. I was thinking about dropping by. But well, it sounds like you're not there, so I'll try again later. Psst. Bye. Kingsley? Inspector Scott, Scott Kingsley from the Aspicio Police Department. <coughs> I knew that I got caught there by the cops I'd be arrested on the spot. I had to get out of there. Ooh. I left the office running as fast as my legs could carry me. Would carry me. Ah, pant, pant. I ran to the front of the office. I finally made my way out of the office. All I could think about was how I never wanted to go through something like that again. I needed to get the whole thing over with. I had dropped the bag. I dropped off the bag. All I had to do now was give the files to. All I wanted to do at that moment was stare at the sky. Okay, <coughs> <coughs> let's see. Just to my guys. <sighs> I made it up. I want to get them their files and get all over with as soon as possible. I thought all I had to do was give the files to the man waiting outside the office. As I looked around for my contact, I noticed someone walking towards me. <gasps> Pretty lady. She's... she's... Who is she? Miss Yudla Marks. Mr. Hunter's assistant. Crap. What was I gonna do? Um, should, I just, should I just stand? That I would look pretty suspicious. I had to do something else. <coughs> Should I talk to her? I, I could have even if I didn't talk to her. I really look really suspicious. I had to do something else. Right. I had to run. Ah! Hey, wait. Oh. Where were you? I dropped off the bag and I bought the files. Oh, okay. Hmm? Hold on a second. Hello, boss. Now is not the time to be on the phone. This Marks is... Shut up, I know that. Sorry, boss. The cage was being loud. Yeah. Get a Marks back. Yes. 
Okay. I understand. I'll contact the police. Just like we talked about. And again? Yeah, he brought it. Okay. I got it. Okay. I'll see you later. Bye. Cops? What do you mean by cops? Ouch. Shut up, that's not a good business. Anyway, you take those files and get out of here. Don't ever come near here again. What do you mean? <coughs> Excuse me. Shut up. The boss is gonna call you later, so I ask him. Get out of here. Oh, okay. I ran as fast as I could, my heart pounding in my ears as I fear as my fear began to fade, I slowed down and found myself in the back alley. <coughs> Aya, stop coughing. What are you doing here? Aya. I go just, there. Just talk. Get your lunch already. You haven't eaten yet. I know. Just talk. I will not bother you. Just talk. Pant. 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 Shut up. I have... Ah! like that much in a, quite a while. I needed to think, what was going on? He said that he was going to contact the cops. What had he meant? Ah! Oh, it's my phone. It was probably him. <coughs> I figured I should probably get it. It probably did just get it! Don't just probably my butt. Number on the screen wasn't the one I recognized. Uh, hello? It's me. Hello? Well, I'll be there. It seems you actually managed to do what I told you to. Yes. When Miss Marks came back, I was really scared. But somehow I was able to do it. Miss Marks, eh? Take it that you read Hunter's files. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. I I'm sorry. Whatever, it's fine. So what type of file was it? It was a file of a past cases. Ha! That's great. If that's the case, I want you to do more and more things. Oh damn you, why are you asking him to do so many things? Something more? What, you got a problem with that? Something else for me to do? Oh. I want you to read the files you took from the Hunter Detective Agency and report anything you find out to me. Find out? Yeah, anything. Call me back after you read them. But, but why do you want to know? The guy earlier say, saying something about the cops. What's going on? I have no idea what's going on. Hey. Wow, what? What's going on isn't really your concern. All you need, all that you need to know, is that if you want to live to see tomorrow, you're going to do as I say. <coughs> I trust I've made myself clear. Yes, I understand. So, what are you gonna do now? Um, fire. Read and report. That's right. Hmm, I guess you're. Because all you're useful for is remembering things. Call me back at the number I just called you from. Get back to me as soon as you're finished with the first file. But okay, I will. Say. Okay, so what was the first file about? What? You did read a file, right? Yes, that's right. Tell me about it. What kind of case did you read from, about from the file? Um, murder. It was a murder case. <coughs> I see. Where did the case take place? Aspicia. I see. A 
according to the file, who were some of Mr. Hunter's friends? What the hell? I can't read this! sort of vehicle, so I think he walked. I see. Uh, it wasn't as busy, you know? What sort of weaknesses did Mr. Hunter have? Weakness? Why would he want to know that? Mr. Hunter heard that Mr. Kingsley was attacked. He did lose his call. Hmm, I see. Well, I see. Well, I guess this is good enough for now. Keep doing what you're doing. Got it? Okay. Alright, I'll be waiting for your next report. I don't want to sound like a broken record, but do what I say and you will do. Yes, I understand. Okay, well, keep it up. That was the last thing he said before he hung up. Bastard. <sighs> what was going on? I could have sworn he said he was friends with Mr. Hunter. But if that was the case, why was he making me look through Mr. Hunter's files? There wasn't any point in thinking too much about it right now. My only choice was to do exactly as he said. <coughs> Jake Hunter Seaside Conspiracy. Hold on, let me take that. <clears throat> Wait, where are you? No, <coughs> 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 oh, where is that? New, new. Right? Snapshot. <coughs> 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 
Excuse me. Seaside conspiracy. Seaside city. Where? Conspiracy. 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 How can I not spell my things right? <laughs> what the hell am I singing? Okay. Ew. <coughs> <coughs> ah, I'm out of drink. Do do do. I watched the spring sunlight filter to a lonely glass. What the hell? Come back here. Stupid bottle. There's juice. I can't drink wine or rum. Or any alcohol. Allergy. <sighs> I watched the spring sunlight filter through a lonely glass empty of scotch. It's not even, it doesn't even have any. It spread across my desk, <coughs> <coughs> casting arcs of light and shadow over scattered papers and crumpled marble, Marlboro cartons. I can't pronounce that thing right. I could hear Yulia typing away over in the corner of the office and on God knows what. Yulia, full name Yulia Marx, was and is the only employee of the Hunter, the Hunter Detective Agency apart from, from the, apart from myself. I can't speak right. She's smart, she's smart, talented, and cool, under pressure, plus she can speak just about any language you're likely to run into in SPCO. <gasps> Does she speak Chinese? Tagalog? I'm curious. <laughs> She'd only been working for me for about a year back then, but I'd already become far too dependent on her. It was one of the nicer days we'd had that spring. Quiet, too. My office sits in the middle of the tri <laughs> tripudio, tripodio, tripudio district of Aspicio City. But it's nestled back a ways from the busier cities. <coughs> <coughs> it's quieter than the rest of the city, but the day seems es it seemed especially relaxed. Don't be too cocky. Just as I was about to doze off for a second or the third time that day, I noticed Yulia had stopped typing. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Why was I disturbing your nap? What's with the outfit? I don't think you can disturb me if you try it always. Well, if you're not sleeping, maybe you could be. You should be looking out for a client. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I know it seems like we've been busy lately. <coughs> You never know what when that stream of clients might dry up. Maybe you should call around a little, just to see if you might be able to pick up someone. Are you my boss? The words were barely out of her mouth when speak of the devil as they say. <laughs> oh, well, perhaps this is our lucky day. You uh, reached over and lifted up, uh, lifted the phone off the hook. Hello, this is Hunter Detective Agency. How may I help you? That, that, that. May I ask who's calling? That, that, that. <coughs> Thank you. Just one moment, please. Sir. A Mr. Holloway is on the line. Holloway? Never heard of him. Probably just some sap who thinks this girl's running around with another guy. <laughs> you do know you're loud on the phone. <coughs> oh god. Hello, Detective Hunter speaking. Please. You you have to find. 
Yeah, the vine Eva. Excuse me. Look, buddy, I'd love to help, but you're going to have to give a little more than that. Eva's disappeared. I don't know what to do. It looked like he wasn't going to make it easy. <sighs> All right, calm down, buddy. Slow down, take a deep breath, and tell me what's going on. Oh, he was fast? I'm sorry. I don't know who else to turn to, Mr. Hunter. Please. <coughs> Please, you gotta help me. This guy was a mess. But his state of mind wasn't helping either mess. It looked like I didn't have much of a choice. Alright, Mr. Hathaway. Where are you? I'm at the, the New Gold Hotel. In Depono. Great. All right, I'll be there as soon as I can. Oh, thank you, Mr. Hunter. Thank you. I'll be waiting for you. It sounds fran frantic, enough, but I figured chances were it was just a run of a mill missing person case. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, folks. Maybe this Eva had just gotten tired of my new friend and taken off for a little secret vacation. Stop making it like a bad thing. It sounded like easy money. What is that all about? Sounded like somebody's girl cut out on him. And he'd like to know where she cut out to. Hey, aren't you from Depono, sweetheart? Yes, sir. Depono born fit. Depono born and raised. I lived there until I went to study abroad in college. Then you're coming with me. A second pair of eyes. Especially one that's familiar with the place. Might come in and besides, I'm sure you'd get all sorts of Bored. Eh? I'm sure you'd get all sorts of bored if I left you here with nothing to do. Alright babe, pack it up. We're heading to the Pono. And don't forget those papers. I don't think you've finished my taxes yet. <laughs> In a few hours, Yul and I were packed and on our way to the Pono. The Pono? The Pono. Ah! Again. Oh my god, that's nice! Oh damn it. Go back to the view of the city! Now I want a view of the city! Ow. Oh, Doritos. I'm hungry! That's your food! That's your dinner! Let me dinner. Your lunch! Okay. Give me the bowl, so I won't have to get it from the pack. Anyway, the day was clear and warm, and I was driving to the coast with a beautiful young woman. Oh, damn it, I need a notepad. Where is that? Doo -doo -doo -doo. No, not this paper. I need paper. Ugh. They're gonna ask me a lot of questions again. Ah, this will do. Thanks. Really? <laughs> Card to the Pono. The Pono. <coughs> with, a, <laughs> with a beautiful young woman. Damn it. I was on my way to. Huh? I was on my way to a case that looked like some fast, easy money. Maybe I'd even have time for a little vacation. If I'd known what was waiting for us in the Pono. Conspiracy. Danger. Death. And I would have problem uh, and I would have packed more scotch. Wow. Oh damn it. It was in the middle of the afternoon when you and I pulled up in front of the new gold hotel. Is it really new and old and gold? It'd be, if he had been telling the truth. Mysterious Holloway was somewhere inside. Well, Mr. Hunter, here we are, the new gold hotel. This is close to the docks, Chinatown, and downtown Dakota. So many tourists and foreigners, foreign visitors stay here. Foreigners. It's interesting. In other words, if Mr. Holloway is staying here, he's probably not a Dakota native. 
Good to know. Let's go find the man of the hour. And get rich. She was doing her best to find Mr. Howley. But with nothing more than his voice to go on, neither of us, neither one of us were going to have much luck. The lab was probably brightly lit and had some sort of nautical theme. A couple people stood near the front desk. conversation give you any idea what kind of person he might be and would have been nice if he at least told you what he looks like <laughs> oh I just la it, it's just like I remembered it sure most of the buildings have changed but that's just this surface the heart and soul of the tone the people and the air and the way the city feels it's just like where <coughs> damn it it's like it's just like it was when I was a kid I guess I didn't realize how much I missed it. Aww. Ooh, scary guy. Hey there, I'm here to meet a fellow by the name of Holloway. Think you could be a pal and let him know I'm here? Mr. Holloway? May I have your name, please? Sure, Jake Hunter. Thank you, one moment, please. Thank you for waiting. He said he would be right down and asked if you could wait right here. Thanks. I brought her along as a sort of local guy. She's grown up in the corner. And I had a feeling that might come in handy. <coughs> I glanced over at the elevator as a nervous looking man stepped up. Perhaps he was my mysterious Mr. Holloway. Here, you're ugly. Um, are you Mr. Hunter? That's what they call me. You're Holloway? Yes, I'm Harry Holloway. I am sorry about how I acted on the phone. I really, really appreciate you coming all the way out here to see me. He seemed to have calmed down a bit since our phone conversation, but he was a little, still a little twitchy. Wait. I want to inspect this guy. The nautical theme wasn't really my The nautical theme of the lobby wasn't really my style. <coughs> Buff marble floors were full of people going about their business, most of tourists. I want the marble floor. We have your tiles. <laughs> he was healthy, but it looked like his job kept him outside a lot. He looked pretty serious, although not as frantic as he sounded on the phone. Still, it looked like whoever Eva was, was pretty important to him. His behavior was about what I'd expect him, and he seemed especially twitchy. And I caught him looking over his shoulder more than twice. I mean, one. Hmm? I get the feeling there was more to the story than he was letting on. <clears throat> it's a case. He mentioned something about the dame called Eva. <coughs> That's right. Maybe you could fill me in on the details? Eva's my girlfriend. Her full name <coughs> Her full name is Eva Christiana. She's not from around here, is she? Yeah, that's right. She's a secretary at the at the consulate of the Repar Republic Republic of Baraka in the Pono. My mouth is filled with chips. I can't speak. Sorry. Because I'm hungry! So she is. Here's a photo of her. Eva was quite a cute girl. Cute, cute, not cute. Even the worn. It's old? Even in the worn photograph he handed me, Eva shone like the sun. Like an angel. Like her name. Her beauty had a European hint to it. Golden hair, pale skin. I smell like a million bucks. But a million? That's worth at least a lifetime of money. I could see why he was sad to lose her. Right. 
<coughs> you said you wanted to find me. I take it she's gone missing. Yeah. Hmm? I'm the navigator on a cargo ship. I just got back there three days ago. I've been out on this. I've been out at sea for at least ah for the last three months. Oh my God, that's too long. Even I went out on the date the day I got back. I said our goodbyes afterwards, and, and since then you haven't been able to get over her, right? <coughs> yes. She won't answer herself. She's not at home. Oh God. Why is there ants here? Big. All right. How about you tell me what happened on this date of yours? Of yours? No. Uh. Okay. <clears throat> My ship was moored at Montes Pier, so she sent me there. We went shopping and had something to eat in China. Now. After that, we went to the park on the hill that looks over the harbor. After that, we went to the bar. What? To the bar fjord on. In Nithium, Nishim, had a few drinks, and then went our separate ways. What a date! So this bar was the last place you saw her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She told me she had to work the next day, so we called a couple of taxis at the bar and went home separate. Hmm. Did Eva do anything that seemed odd or out of the ordinary? Well, she said that work was going well. The only complaint was that she couldn't see me when I was out at sea. Oh, Eva! So she's been missing for three days and you haven't filled a missing person's report? Oh, uh, well, I guess she doesn't have a family, any family here in the US. I guess that would be up to me. But I haven't yet. Why not? Well, because of her job. Police haven't been very cooperative. Oh, good old diplomatic immunity. Those both ways, right? <coughs> right. The police don't care much about foreign diplomats. I heard about you, Mr. Hunter, so I thought I'd give you a call. Accept, damn it. <laughs> Alright, kid, you've got yourself a detective. Thank you, Mr. Hunter. I've never been in a situation like this before. I just don't know what to do. Oh, Eva, I hope you're safe. Well, for starters, how about you give me Eva's address? Ah, of course. Hold on. Holloway scribbled down something on a piece of paper and handed it to me. Alright. I can start it right away. <coughs> Good luck, Mr. Hunter. I hope you find yourself. Eh, don't worry about it. I'll have you I'll have her back here before you know it. Are you staying in this hotel? Yes I am. I live pretty far from here, so I thought it would be best if I stayed the night. Besides, it just doesn't feel right leaving if I don't know where Eva is. Of course. I'll look for you here if I, if I find anything. Hey, babe. Yes, sir. Think you can book a room for uh, the two of us? I think you mean two rooms, sir. <laughs> <laughs> ah, idiot.